video mastering this is a brilliant program it's that simple it doesn't have audio bus compatibility compatibility but it does have audio copy and paste so that makes it fine it's an elegant functional program it sounds great it has all your mastering controls on one screen so you have your EQ your harmonic saturator the stereo imaging and your your compressor it's a compressor a compressor limiter uh, with with a ceiling and it's it's very 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 good uh, if your input wave file or mp3 or whatever because it understands it, it it will read lots of different file types is too loud you can reduce the input here and do lots of things so let's quick look this is the file thing i've got a few things set up here to play with i i use audio copy and paste so if you've got some tracks and things you can audio copy and paste them all in and uh, master them all it shows you the waveform these are your controls and these are your settings so it's very 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 simple to use it has presets uh, set up for rock, pop, Nancy, easy listening, vocal, ambient, electronic, drum and bass so it's a good place to get started depending on what type of music you're doing and it has these user presets here um, what th what this is great great for is when you've finished the song in say Cubasis or Beatmaker or Aurea and I mean, Aurea has some fantastic um, mastering plugins itself but if you're not using that this will give you a very simple interface to make a very smooth polished track so this first thing we're going to listen to is um, a track that me and Joe recorded a while ago uh, on hardware equipment and first of all this is the sound of the track with nothing nothing added at all okay so we'll just quickly play Okay, so it sounds it sounds okay anyway. And I played with this for a, a little while yesterday and set up a preset here which I'll just drop in. There's a place where I go sometimes when I get low when no one can reach me. We'll drop back out. Just keep coming all the time. I need somewhere to shut out the chaos of my life. It doesn't mean I don't love you. Waveform tracking is super smooth. You give life meaning of that I can't So we can drop deny. between. No glitch. Let's have a play. And it's in model games. Times of no consequences or of any doubt. The only thing to do. We can saturate harmonics. Three, three plus five, three plus five and seven. Back to the preset. I know I worry me. So, there you go. Uh, we'll remember, by the way, what you're doing, or you can save it as a preset and come back to work on it later. It has super fine control over everything here. The stereo imager is particularly good. Let's have a quick listen to that. That's just. But what I'm missing, I can never regain the innocence of you. I know I showed him wrong. Person looking back. But you found some answers of how to belong. 
Lovely jubbly. Quick blast of some of the presets. Okay, so not for that part of it. So you can turn off equalizer, harmonic saturated stereo engine as you as you please. It doesn't really matter. So if if, if the track is playing we can just switch off the EQ, the stereo imaging, switching back on and off. Okay. Like I said, you have input monitoring and output monitoring. If the input file is too loud, you can always reduce it here. And you can save, and then you can reset anytime you like. Or we'll go back to your presets. Okay, so files. I'm just going to drop in this file that I dropped in yesterday. So you can just work on, say, um, a drum track, for instance. Very, very basic drum track. Input's a little bit loud there. So just let me just go back here and I'll loop this. So it'll just play over and over. Okay, so I, I want to reduce the input. Okay, so our output now will be a little bit more controlled. I don't think we need to use any compression there, but if we wanted to, we can switch the maximizer on. Set the ceiling of that, minus 0 0.4 dB. Quite nice. And we'll have it as a fast, because it's with drums. Switch the EQ on. Let's take out some of that mid-range, because it sounds a little harsh. Okay, let's just saturate uh, three of the harmonics. And pull up the stereo, the top end. Okay. Okay, stop. Once we're happy with that drum pattern, say for instance, we can go there and we can look at it. At this point also, I'd like to point out that we can set in points here, so if I want to move that to there, say, for instance, I'll set in there, and then I'll go here, maybe, can't really just and set out, and then we can have it looping just in between our, our our points there. So let's just grab hold of our play thing there and. So we could, we could take that now and we could just process. Once we hit process, it will give us lots of choices. Now process area in between the mark in and mark out. So yes, just let's process that a little bit. We can output the file bit rate at either 16 or 24. This is going to please a lot of people, I think. Uh, uh, dithering is enabled and our output file format, we can choose WAVE, AIF or MP3. Okay, input file formats, uh, you, you can import loads of different ones. Bearing in mind, if you're going to audio copy and paste your finished file, you need to output that file format as a as a wave because that's how the Sonoma uh, board works. Uh, so if you've imported an MP3 and you want to get it onto your, your audio copy uh, paste, you need to convert to a wave, which is very, very handy. So once we've set up what we want there, we just press process. And we have a, a, well, that was very fast, processed really quick because it's a short file, but there is a, a percentage thing here that tells you how you're going. So this is our processed file now. Okay. Now if we loop it, just to see how it sounds, because we can make further adjustments if it's not right. Okay, stop. And it will be here automatically in our... Uh, it's an audio elements file and it says final blah 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 which we can then rename and then if we wanted to we just can select our file and audio copy copy the file to clipboard okay and it's done so you can go into Cubase Loopy wherever and, and carry on with the work okay so let's have another quick so this was a track I uh, uh, I think it was just a drum pattern I imported from from uh, 
from Loopy. So let's just have a quick listen to that. And you can see that I'd already made adjustments on it and it's remembered them. So there's no need to save it as a preset, it will just remember the last thing you, you did. So say you, if you wanted to save that section, process a very small part of it, have a really uh, baseless sort of loop track, and then bang, put in a full full blown bass loop just after that into one of your DAWs, you're going to get a really nice effect. Okay, so we'll just stop that, play it again. Okay, so. Cool. Like I said, the proof is in the pudding. Also here, previous and next buttons will jump to your previous and next files that you have loaded onto your file uh, browser here as well. You have web, web access, so you can um, download connections via the internet. Um, like I said, you can select, delete file. You can re like rename your file. Okay. Um, the waveform editing is very very simple and your process will only process the area in between your in and out points so you have like um, a very short you can make some really short and nice loops but the accuracy is very good because and if you see here we have this little one here which allows us to skip or we can just move very very slightly in between the wave so it's very very cool like I said, it's a very, very elegant program um, to work with. It's simple. Fa I like the fact that it's all on one screen. It sounds great. The, it's, there's obviously a lot of work on into this. And it's the, there's no learning curve here. If the only learning curve is learning about like how to master a song properly or master your tracks properly or, or do something like that, which is an art form in itself, but it's a great way to to learn and to practice and play with sound and, and EQs and, and st in stereo images. I particularly love the stereo imager. It's, it's so good. There's another file here. Okay, so I'm going to have a look on that waveform there. And I want to loop. Oh, also you can fade in, fade out, choose the amount of time it fades in or fades out between the markers. Brilliant. Um, so loop this and play. I'm going to move this over here. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is set the in point at the beginning and then take that to the end and set the out point. So we've got the whole file. And I'm going to just play with some stereo imaging. Excuse me, I forgot to hit that there. Okay, it's working between me and out points. choosing where so you can see once you've worked with your 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 piece and it's it's how you like it you can export it and, and do whatever you want like I said you know it's very difficult in 15 minutes just to say oh it does all this it does all this but you can see you know you can find the control you can jump between files very quickly and they're there straight away you can just and it's done. 
so this is an iPad 2 16 gig so you know it's your basic general processor you can see there was no glitching no no problems there everything is so and also it's you know you can do your multi-touch things no problem so anyway guys that's audio mastering a, a sort of a, a general overview on the uh, on the iPad 2 okay hope you guys found this useful later